Breaking news on ABC 17 News on KMIZ. We're following breaking news on ABC 17 News this morning after fire caused crews to close down Business Loop 70 earlier this morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Erica McGuire. You'll definitely want to grab the jacket this morning because it's another chilly start. And John will have more on your forecast in just a few minutes. But first, we're going to send things out to ABC 17's Gabrielle Tyner, who is live at that scene of that fire this morning. And Gabrielle Cruz left about a half hour ago after working on some hot spots. Erica, yes, like exactly like you said, crews were out here just looking for so many hot spots or smoldering that was left over from this fire. I'm going to step out of the way just so you could see a bit of the damage that was done to the Little Dixie construction trailer. Now, just before I just came on air to talk to you guys, I did kind of a little bit of a wide walk around, not trying to get too close to it. And it, see, it really appears the fire was contained in the trailer. It didn't spread to any of the other construction equipment. The porta potty did get a little bit of the brunt of it, but nothing too bad but you can see there is lots of damage this I was talking to uh, the fire department spokesperson before and she had told me that this was totally engulfed when they had got here so around 2 15 this morning Columbia Fire Department responded to a structure fire here on the business loop units arrived to the scene four minutes later and were able to quickly extinguish the flames coming out of the little Dixie construction trailer the fire was under control within less than an hour one firefighter was taken to the hospital with injuries. We arrived within four minutes, um, quickly brought it under control, uh, the situation's under control and everything. We did transport one firefighter uh, to be looked at for non-life-threatening injuries. Now, we currently do not have the name of that firefighter that was taken for injuries, but are working to learn more. I also asked Catherine, I said, what, do you have any idea of where this started or how this all happened? And she said it is still under investigation and that she will be releasing some more information as the day goes on. So, of course, we will continue to update you as we learn more about this situation throughout the day. Reporting live in Columbia, Gabrielle Tyner, ABC 17 News. All right, thank you, Gabrielle. And we'll check back in with her in our next half hour.